Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be uh, doing an overview on Rocky Linux 9.3. 9.3 was released uh, a week ago and uh, I was away camping so I just got back so I'm starting where I left off at. So today we'll be taking a look at Rocky Linux 9.3. So here we are at the installer. Let's go ahead and get it installed but first let's make sure our information is correct. We are currently set at English, United States. Click on continue, and then we should have our uh, mounting options and uh, passwords and things like that. So let's go ahead and get our disk set up. That's done. Set up our root password. That's done. And now let's create a user. Make the user administrator. Give them a password. And let me see what clicking on advanced does. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and click done. Now let me see the time and date is set to America, Los Angeles. That's correct. Let's get our software selection up. And basically, we just need a workstation. That's the only thing I'm going to click on. I'm not going to click on anything over here. I always say that, and I do, but this time I'm just going to click workstation just to see what it uh, does. Click on done. And now let's begin installation. This process, this process usually takes around five minutes, so uh, I'll go ahead and pause the video now. And when I come back, we should be fully installed. All right, installation is now completed, so we're going to go ahead and uh, reboot the system and take a look at Rocky Linux 9.3. All right, we are rebooting now. So let's go ahead and log in and take a look at Rocky Linux 9.3. So we have a basic uh, GNOME desktop here. And as all GNOME desktops have, we are welcomed by our Rocky Linux tour. So let's go ahead and uh, take the tour and see what she has to offer. Yeah, pretty basic uh, known tour. So uh, let's go ahead and close this. Get into the system. Uh, it's a basic uh, known desktop with the panel on top. And uh, of course, you got the system tray on the right. You got your clock and calendar in the middle. And then you have your activities on the left. Pretty basic on all known systems. And uh, this is pretty much the way GNOME looks out of the box. So in our system tray, we have our combined button, which has everything, our uh, wire connection, has our audio, has our settings, has our power session. So it's all pretty much combined into one button here. Then on our clock, you click on it, you have some notifications and a calendar all combined into one. So if you want to set up an event, just click on uh, right here or click on a date and set up an event. Or you can set this uh, notification area to do not disturb. Pretty basic. And then uh, on the upper left, we have our activities. Click it on activities, opens up a dock with the applications menu. And it also has some pinned items. So uh, let's take a look at these pinned items first, and then we'll take a look at the uh, applications. So we have our terminal, which is our standard GNOME terminal. Let's see what version terminal we have here. It looks like it's uh, 
3.40.3. So yeah, this is your standard uh, gnome terminal. And let's see if uh, we can actually install anything. Testing out DNF. It'll do a base, uh, kind of like a system upgrade, first upgrade, and then we'll see if it actually installs anything. It may or may not, but we will see. Okay, it wasn't able to find HTOP, so let's see if we can find something else. Let's say GIMP. Yep, we found GIMP. So let's just go ahead and install GIMP. And while it's doing that, we'll go back to the activities and check out our help. This is your standard help uh, on GNOME. So if you have any issues or you're looking for something on your system, just click on the GNOME help. And it should uh, be able to find whatever problems you have. It's pretty standard on all GNOME, it, uh, GNOME systems. And, and it's pretty helpful if you need it. All right. Bye. Continue installing. Back to activities. Now let's look at the actual software manager. So this here is a uh, the actual software manager. What I just installed, I used the DNF through the uh, terminal. But here, this is your actual software manager. So I'm wondering if I can find the HTOP through here. No. Nah. And let's see what version of software we raise it. 41.5. All right, that's your software manager. And this is done, so let's go ahead and close out the terminal. Let's get back to the activities. Uh, and then we have our file manager. File manager should be files. Standard on all uh, GNOME desktops. Yeah, files 40.2. So if you can get to uh, your music, if you had any installed, your pictures, downloads, documents. It's pretty uh, standard uh, folder layout here. So uh, this is so you can organize all your files. And this is files. Now back to the activities. Click on Firefox, our web browser pretty standard on most uh, Linux systems and opening it up also takes you to the Rocky Linux page so you can get some info on the new system and let's see what version of Firefox we are running 115.4.0 ESR same version as uh, Debian Debian and uh, Enterprise Linux systems love this ESR version of Firefox. I guess it's a more stable version, so that's why they use it. All right, that's your web browser. Now let's get into our applications menu. And like I said, I didn't install nothing extra during installation. Uh, so you have your standard layout here for GNOME. You have your uh, email manager. Uh, a troubleshooter, your tour, videos, calculator, text editor, GIMP, which I installed using a terminal. Then you have your settings, your system monitor, your utilities, and cheese, which is a uh, it's a webcam uh, program for taking pictures or video. But uh, I installed GIMP, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Right, this is the latest version of GIMP, it looks like. Yeah. So let's see what actual version it is. 2.99.8. So this is the latest version before uh, version 3 comes out. So this is the uh, unstable uh, testing version. Yeah, that's Git. Alright, that's pretty much it on this system. Uh, we can also take a look at see if we have any theming out of the box so let's go to the settings 
Let's see. And right here we got backgrounds. So you want to change your uh, wallpaper. Use this right here. And of course, you can just go and uh, download any photo off the web, and you can use that as a as a background also. So you're not pretty much restricted to these. You can pretty much use any photo you want and set it as your background. So these are your wallpapers. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think we have to install tweaks, but we'll see. Yeah. So that's going to install tweaks. So I'll go ahead and install that. And once it's installed, we can actually uh, get into theming. Which is pretty standard. Uh, being that it's just a... Uh, it'll just give you a, a standard Adwaita, I think, system. Adwaita and Breeze. So let's see what we got. Applications, yeah, at Lida, at Lida Dark, and High Contrast, and High Contrast Inverse. Then you got cursors, you have at Lida, pretty much the only one on here. Icons, you have at Lida and High Contrast. Shell, if you want to install the uh, shell script, you can do that here. You get a uh, manager sound. The background we already uh saw that but you can also like set a direct link here then you can adjust some other things you can do fonts keyboard startup applications top bar being this up here uh, window title bars you can change those windows and then workspaces and that's pretty much your theming on here so pretty standard uh that's rocky linux 9.3 like I said, this one was just released uh, last week, but uh, I went on a camping trip, so I've been away for a couple weeks. And as I'm back now, I'm just uh, starting off where I left off. All right, so if there's something you're interested in, uh, take a look at Rocky Linux 9.3. I have uh, links in the description, and I'm out.